Hi. Today we will see how to implement the downside to Suki gap candle stick pattern in the TradingView Pine script. First, let's understand what this pattern is about. In the downside to Suki gap pattern, we have three candles. The first candle is a big bearish candle. The second candle is also bearish and is smaller than the first candle in size. Also, this second candle should be a gap down candle. That means there should be a gap between the close value of the first candle and the high value of the second candle. Then, the third candle should be bullish. And the close of this third candle should be within the gap of the first two candles. So in short, this third candle is unable to close the gap created by the earlier two candles. This pattern is called the downside to Suki gap pattern. The pattern is said to have confirmed a bearish market trend. That means the market shall continue to see an ongoing downward movement after this pattern is formed. Now, let's see the code. This is an indicator function with the name, downside to Suki gap. Here, we find the first candle of the pattern. Here we find out the second candle of the pattern. And here we find the third candle of the pattern. Once the three candles are found, we get our downside to Suki gap pattern. Finally, we draw a label on the last candle of this pattern, so that we can quickly identify this pattern on the chart. Now, let's add this indicator to the chart and see. So right now I'm on the S&P 500 daily chart. And I see the downside to Suki gap pattern here. As you can see, this first candle is a big bearish red candle. This second candle is a smaller bearish candle, which is also a gap down candle. And this third candle is a bullish green candle, whose close value is within the gap created by the earlier two candles. So this is a perfect downside to Suki gap pattern. And as you can see, the market has continued its downward movement after this pattern. Let's see one more example. Here, we find another one such occurrence of the pattern. But here, the market first went a little upwards, and then, it continued its downward movement. Here's another example. The market went downwards as expected. So that's it. That's how you can implement the downside to Suki gap pattern in the TradingView Pine script. Thank you.